So the embargo has yet to lift on AMD's Zen 2 based Ryzen 4000 series notebooks, but it looks like one of the reviews for the laptop based on the Ryzen 5 4500U has slipped out by overclockers.ua. The review shows a good representation of what to expect from the mainstream lineup of the third generation AMD Ryzen 4000 series CPU based products. The test was done on the Acer Swift 3 S314-42 notebook which has yet to land on retail shelves but would be out later this month. The notebook features the AMD Renoir Ryzen 5 4500 CPU that rocks 6 cores and 6 threads with a base clock of 2.3GHz and a boost clock of 4GHz. The chip carries 8MB of L3 cache and 3MB of L2 cache and comes in a 15 watt package. The Ryzen 4000 U series processors are ideally positioned against Intel's 10 nanometer Ice Lake U and 14 nanometer Comet Lake U CPUs. The Ryzen 5 4500U also comes with the updated 7 nanometer Vega 6 graphics core which features 384 cores and a graphics clock up to 1500 megahertz. Notebook Check put up a nice effort in comparing the notebook with a similarly priced Intel solution based on the 8th generation Core i5-8250U which features 4 cores and 8 threads. According to the test, the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U is up to 50% faster than the Core i5-8250U part which is also a 15 watt part. The newer Intel Core i5-10 210U, 10210U, or the Core i5 10510U, and even those based on the Ice Lake U weren't compared, but one can conclude that the higher clock speeds of the 10th gen Comet Lake U parts and the non availability of Ice Lake notebooks aren't going to help Intel much in the overall notebook segment. The Radeon Vega 6 GPU on the Ryzen 5 4500U performs almost 60% better over the existing Ryzen 3000 notebook parts. The GPU can definitely run most games at 1080p with decent frame rates while the more demanding and AAA titles will be playable at about 720p resolution. The integrated Vega graphics would be perfect for esports gaming at 1080p resolution without requiring a discrete graphics card which raises the cost on mainstream notebooks. This would also allow the notebook to sip in less power in both idle and intensive workloads. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.